क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू प्रिपेयर एस्टीमेटेड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अकाउंट एस्टीमेटेड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अकाउंट इज बेस्ड ऑन सर्टेन एस्टीमेशन इट इज बेस्ड ऑन सर्टेन एजम्पशंस इट इज बेस्ड ऑन सर्टेन प्रीवियस कैलकुलेशंस व्हिच मे डिफर फ्रॉम एक्चुअल therefore there is a practice that when we prepare estimated a contract account we assume certain additional expenditure and we refer that as what provision for contingency sometime this provision for contingency has to be calculated on total contract cost how to do that that will be studying with the help of this question now let us start with the question राजेंद्र कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑप्टेन अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट राजेंद्र कंस्ट्रक्शन द नेम ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्टर ऑप्टेन अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट टू बिल्ड अ फ्लाई ओवर ब्रिज एट अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट प्राइस ऑफ 150 फिफ्टी लैक्स दैट इज वन करोड़ फिफ्टी लैक्स द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एग्रीज टू पे नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ द वैल्यू ऑफ डन एज सर्टिफाइड बाय द आर्किटेक्ट इमीजिएटली ऑन रिसिप्ट ऑफ सर्टिफिकेट एंड टू पे द बैलेंस Balance is ten percent on completion of the contract. So here information we have that cash received will be ninety percent of work certified. The contractor commenced work on first May two thousand seven. So this is date of commencement of contract, first May two thousand seven, and it is estimated to be completed by thirty first December two thousand eight. so it has started on 1st may 2007 so actual expenditure here we have up to 31st march 2008 that means from 1st may 2007 up to 31st march 2008 here this is a period of 11 months 11 months period is given actual period where all the expenses are actually paid by the contractor that information we have in first amount column then it will be completed on 31 december so from 1st april 2008 up to 31 december 2008 this is a period of 9 months so we have details of <coughs> sorry estimated 9 months period from 1st april to 31st of december so 11 months plus 9 months the whole contract is of 20 months period of which we have actual expenditure detail for 11 months and we have estimated expenditure for 9 months we are required to prepare one contract account for a period of 11 months and total contract account for full period of 20 months let us go to the expenditures direct material contract account debit indirect materials contract account debit direct wages contract account debit subcontract charges contract account debit architect fees contract account debit administration overheads contract account debit special equipment charges contract account debit supervision charges contract account debit establishment charges contract account debit other details they have given cash received actual then closing material at site this will be recorded to the credit of contract account uncertified work this will be recorded to the credit of contract account now here supervision charges they have given on monthly basis it is said 10000 per month so first period is of 11 months so 11 months multiplied by 10000 so supervision charges will be 1 lakh 10000 Ten thousand per month. It is a period of eleven months, so it comes to one lakh ten thousand. Similarly, establishment charges they have given eight thousand per month. So eleven months multiplied by eight thousand. 
इट विल बी एटी एट थाउजेंड टोटल अमाउंट टू बी डेबिटेड टू द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अकाउंट सुपरविजन चार्जेस इन एस्टिमेटेड पीरियड दे हैव सेड ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड पर मंथ सो हियर इट इज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड पर मंथ मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एस्टिमेटेड पीरियड इज नाइन मंथ्स so it comes to 1 lakh 8000 similarly establishment charges 9000 per month for 9 months so it will be 81000 so when expenses are given per month basis we are required to see the carefully the actual period and estimated period so that we can charge those expenses properly so the additional information we have information of certified work 75 lakhs during first completed period and then estimated period full amount they have given 1 crore 50 lakhs which is cumulative a special machinery costing 13 lakh 40000 was brought for the contract and the estimated scrap value of the machinery at the end of the contract would be 1 lakh 40000 they have said that special machinery is bought for 13 lakh 40000 depreciation on special machinery we can calculate with the help of this formula cost minus scrap value divided by estimated life cost they have said here 13 lakh 40000 and estimated scrap value at the end of the contract is 1 lakh 40000 estimated life will be taking whole of the contract period that is 11 months plus 9 months it will be 20 months so that we can get per month depreciation it comes to 60000 per month so depreciation is 60000 per month so first period for 11 months it will be 60000 multiplied by 11 Six lakh sixty thousand. Then for next period, for nine months, sixty thousand multiplied by nine months, it is five lakh forty thousand. So total depreciation will be six lakh sixty thousand plus five lakh forty thousand. this will be debited to estimated contract account and this 6 lakh 60000 will be debited to contract account further they say it is decided that profit to be taken to the credit this is they are talking about national profit of first period that is of 11 months to be taken to the credit should be that proportion of estimated net profit to be realized estimated net profit to be realized on completion of contract which certified value of work as on 31st march 2008 bears to total contract price it means they are asking us to apply the formula estimated profit on completion of contract multiplied by work certified for a period of 11 months divided by contract price this is the important point here we have maintain 2% provision for contingencies on total cost of the contract excluding such provision for contingency that means we are required to calculate total cost for full 20 months 
and then we are required to add 2% of that total cost as provision for contingency. This amount will be debited to contract account. Estimated contract account, this amount will be debited to take care of whatever expected expenditure are there. In reality, those may become less or more. To be on a safer side, we are taking more expenditure to get a realistic value of net profit so that national profit can be reasonably allocated to profit and loss account. You are required to prepare contract account for the period ended 31st March 2008 and show your calculation of the profit to be credited to profit and loss account for the period ended 31st March 2008. This is the information we have. Let us start with the question we are required to prepare two accounts. One contract account for a period of 11 months and then total contract account for a period of 20 months. First information we have direct material 33 lakh 50 thousand. Next we have indirect material 5 lakh 60 thousand. Direct wages 8 lakh 42 thousand. Subcontract charges 98 thousand. Architect fees 1 lakh 84 thousand. Administration overhead 6 lakh 50 thousand. Special equipment charges 4 lakh 86 thousand. Supervision charges it is 10 thousand per month. For 11 months, we have calculated 1,10,000. Establishment charges 8,000 per month. For 11 months, we have calculated 88,000 here. Cash received. Closing material at site 4,10,000. This will be recorded to the credit of contract account under the heading work in progress. Uncertified work 1,80,000. Contract account credit under the heading work in progress. Work certified value we have 75 lakhs. It comes to 80 lakh 90 thousand. Depreciation on plant we have done working note by considering cost scrap value etc. For first 11 months it is 6 lakh 60 thousand. This amount will be debited here. Now we can find out profit or loss, national profit or loss for first period of 11 months. Credit is heavy, 80,90,000. After deducting all expenses, we are getting national profit, 10,62,000 here. This 10,62,000 carried down. We are required to split this amount between profit and loss account and reserves. Usually in that case we consider percentage of work certified to contract price but here we are required to prepare estimated contract account for dividing this figure of 10,62,000. Let us proceed to prepare estimated contract account. Estimated contract account will be prepared for a full period of 21 months that is actual period of 11 months and estimated period of 9 months. For these 20 months, we are required to calculate all expenses. Here we have expenses of 11 months actual and 9 months estimated. We are required to add these expenses. Direct material 33 lakh 50 thousand plus 28 lakhs. Indirect material 5 lakh 60 thousand plus 7 lakhs. Direct wages 8,42,000 plus 7,95,000. So these expenses given in both the columns we are required to add to get the total expense for the contract. Let us do that. We have recorded all expenses here and we have credited contract price by contract is account because contract will be completed and amount is receivable total from the contract. Now as per the information given in the question, we are required to create 2% provision on total cost of the contract. So we have to add all these expenses to get total cost first. So it comes to total cost of the contract is 1 crore 30 lakh 92 thousand. We will be taking 2% of this as provision for contingency. So which comes to 2 lakh 61 thousand 840. After debiting this amount, we can now find out the value of estimated profit.
so here we got estimated profit amount is 16,46,160 now this amount will be using to divide national profit by preparing one small working note estimated profit multiplied by work certified divided by contract price estimated profit we have 16,46,160 multiplied by work certified for 11 months 75 lakhs contract price 1 crore 50 lakhs where to solve this it comes to 8 lakh 23,080 this amount of national profit will be transferred to profit and loss account here we have national profit 10 lakh 62,000 as per this calculation, 8,23,080. This amount will be transferred to profit and loss account. Balance will be transferred to reserve account. That is 2,38,920. This will be transferred to reserve account. We can close this account now. In this question, thus we have learned how to calculate provision for contingency on total cost of the contract excluding such provision if they give including such provision then we are required to do calculation to include that amount of provision for contingency in total cost and accordingly we are required to do the calculation thanks for watching this video stay in tune with ekida and subscribe to our channel ekida thank you